Well, good evening and welcome to another Scale Model Ninja. I'm Ross Medlock, your... I think it's a host, somewhere along those lines. So, tonight we're going to carry on working on the Helldrake. Uh, specifically, at the moment, I am working on the base. If that's what you can call it. At the moment it just looks like a pile of mess on my desk. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um... We have nobody in the chat at the moment, but never mind, I'm sure they'll come in at some point or other. Oh, didn't help, I just burnt my finger with my glue gun. Not very good, never mind. So what we're doing tonight is working on the base of the Helldrake. Well, attempting to anyway, without trying to hurt myself too much. So what it is at the moment, we are in the right mess, so to speak. So, what I'll do, I'll check, switch down to Mac Cam without burning myself on the nail gun, even more. And here we go. Welcome to the mess. And yes, it is a mess. As you can see, slowly building up the base of there this for the Heldrake and we've got a place where just about here we'll be sticking this little dude on at some point but all I'm doing at the moment is building this part of it and then I've got to cover it in paper mache that will then hide a lot of the bigger gaps but allow me to indent it enough to work around it but I'm also hoping if I can make it look half decent but it just takes a bit of practice I think <laughs> so just basically breaking up bits of polystyrene and hopefully working it into position around the base where I think it's gonna look okay And the gun's gone cold. This is my own fault for turning it off while I was just talking to you quickly. Now nah, there we go. I've <clears throat> done that the wrong way around, but never mind. Well, we have any too many flat spots like there. I will be picking little bits off here and there, like so, and then these little bits will get stuck into other places at some point. But at the moment I am just trying to bring it in enough so that the bits that I am putting on. Hey up, hello David. As you can see I'm playing make a mess time and it is making a mess so what we're doing at the moment is making up the hell drake base well attempting to anyway work around back that way let me go the other way and then hopefully not melt it too much before i get the pieces stuck in the place like so Mm. That piece out, okay. Just basically ripping the hell out of it, polystyrene chunks. <laughs> Hey, right, plastic! Welcome to the show. He's just saying hi to me and Cora, and David just said hi to, to Paul. Uh, he said, "Oh, 
and Cora Think said hi to David. Uh, yep, now we're going to there. As you can see, I'm having fun making lots of mess on my desk, which is nothing unusual for me. Yeah. Trying to get things stuck on quick enough without melting the polystyrene, which it has a tendency to do. If you don't get it on quick enough, just with a hot glue gun. Yeah, that's coming along. I think we're getting somewhere. Athol. No, Ross making a mess with foam. Evening, Cora. Get him to vacuum tomorrow. Scale model in you. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, it does tend to make a mess, but I'm hoping. Whoop, bleh, get on there. That we work it out enough to the point where. I can sort of get away with the look that I want without overly making things look daft. Putting down there. But at some point or other, I'm hoping that we can get it to. That's melting it nicely, but I didn't want it to pull it off those other bits. And this is where I burn my finger again. Yes, Swain, get off my finger. Strands of glue. Yeah, not them bits. These bits you want. Stick that on top of there, I think. Oh, yeah, was it? Get on there. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And you got. Uh, Cora saying his cave he cleans it. Not at all. Let me saying hi Dave, hi and plastic monkey. Just been here. Just be until my coffee is finished uh, and med safely in my belly. Fair enough. And you got Max begin. Evening Max. Welcome to the uh Ross Medlock burns his fingers time. That's exactly what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> right, so we've got this. Well, up nicely, I think. And we'll chop the chunk out of there. Oh, I'm up here there. Just a bit right where I want it roughly. I will I think I'll leave it at that level. We'll put that into there. You not that one. So there. It's almost getting where I want it, I think. To the maximum height of where I want. Let me put the glue onto them. Yep. 
we will get somewhere in a minute and I'll show you where I am at with it in a minute. And then you have my stuff on it, I suppose we can go you onto there. Yeah, it's just a matter of a uh, Oh, hello Colin, welcome to me making a mess. Nope, not like that bit. Uh, yeah, that piece in there. Okay, uh, stick with you. Uh, let's quite drive it around. Oh, not that way in. Not on me. Bring him, bench your pelican thing. Oh, uh, yes, it's going to be one of them nights, I think. Uh, you get in there. Yeah. That. Up there. there we go. I hope you can all hear me better now. So, as you can see, I'm making a rather big mess at the moment, and it's a it's in a good worthy cause, I think, but I can't guarantee it at the moment. <laughs> So, oh, get off. Lots of sticky threads coming off this. I'm using a hot glue gun. And it's the one thing I hate using, but I do need it. This. So hopefully that's there. Now, if I can get this right, without doing, making too much of a mess and killing everything, I want I keep doing this. Should hopefully melt down. Hopefully, build up what I had last time when I built one of these things like this. And I've just got to layer it on top of the other one. So, hopefully. Shouldn't even fill up that. Oh, the heat's going to get to it. Not much. And then hopefully, it'll seal off nicely. I'm hopefully getting to get, if all works out right, is a lava effect coming down. But it's just melted a bit down through there too much, so I've got to wait for that to cool off. And hopefully, as you can see from there, the glue is just sort of melted over it a bit. So we've got. And it just sort of like makes it look like it's a a lava effect. Get this filled in. It's an eight hour old. hot, 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 hot. Do that. 
Hopefully that's just cooling down a bit now. Okay, oh, chat's gone a bit haywire without me noticing it. I do apologise. Let's see here. Uh, not care about Cora Pink saying. Hang on a minute. Uh, Max is going to say hi everyone. Uh, Cora Pink saying evening Max begin. That's all saying that them that plat with hot glue guns. I think it's supposed to be played with hot glue guns. Learn fast, it burns. Yeah, it does. And then you got Max McGinn saying hi to Cora Pink. And then Plastic Monkey saying hi to Max. And that's all. Fresh to 67 Workshop, who is Colin, is saying evening, folks. <coughs> that's all to Nick Nichols saying hi, Colin. How are you? Fresh 67 Workshop. And you got Cora Pink saying evening to Colin. And you got Max McGinn saying hi, Plastic Monkey, Colin. And Spur and Glue. Spur and Glue saying hi to Max and Colin. And you got Colin saying fine at all. And at all is not bad. Leg was ulcerated, got bitten by Woofy. So had the nurse take a look, see, and it's all fine. But he has sharp teeth, so in my bad books. I do hope the dog went for his tetanus shot. Poor little thing. If your head was grey, it would be like looking at the moon's surface craters everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's just when I'm trying to look around things, it does take a bit. But yes, it's uh, hopefully beginning to look the way I want it to. And once the glue's cooled down a little bit, like it is doing now. And tack it a bit like so and it just brings it off makes it a bit rougher and stick little bits down into it isn't it and hopefully we won't suffer too much and then we can get a bit more We'll do on top of it. Make things. You said that before about Wolfie getting in shot. So if I could finish the code in it. <laughs> Yeah, you got. He said that before about Wolfie getting a shot after biting me, and didn't, and he didn't. I can tell you, Ross. Well, you never know. Poor little old doggy. He did get bitten after all. Okay, so hopefully. And you'll see what I'm going to do with this shiny glued area later on. Hopefully, if I get it right, it should sort of make it look like a lava effect coming out of it. I'm hoping. Uh, if your head was grey, uh, yeah. so Colin, when exactly are you going in, mate? Or has it been postponed? Festival works in room. Oh, I've got scale model musing. Hey, all. Guess what? I got today, Ross. Oh, did it arrive? And Colin's just saying it's um, operation was postponed and it's going to be now next in September. I do hope it's arrived, Muse. It did, think Ah, good. It's nice to hear that certain things arrive in time. That's pretty quick, actually, as well. Less than a week. 
you best enlighten people what you got you received muse i'm sure they want to know now you've mentioned it okay think that's as far as I was going to go with the glue I think ah oh, brilliant so she's put up a quick video forget forgot the name though <laughs> <laughs> oh well <laughs> these things happen as you can see you've caught me in the middle of making a mess So that's about as basic as the way she's going to get at the moment. Ooh. So we have. Oh, do 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 do. Ah, there we go. Ooh. And going over a bit. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's bits of glue dangling down all around it. Some of the bits of stringy that I'll take off. So this is going to, hopefully, if I do it right, it's going to look something like lava. So when Mr. Heldrake sits on top, like so and then we're gonna have his little mate shooting he's gonna be shooting down here so he's gonna have his little mate underneath so i'm gonna have him sitting there somewhere so that's what that's gonna slowly be like but i've got to do some more work with it yet and um Probably, I'm just going to go over it with um, base grey in a minute and see if we can blend it all in. So I was going to use paper masher, but I thought, nah, I'm going to leave the thing like that. So we're going to go over with base grey, I think, in a minute. So we can get a rough idea. And then some of the bigger gaps I'll fill in with little bits of putty and that. Get rid of it. So hopefully. Mr. Glue Guns can turn off now. With all this rubbish. Stick that in a minute. Yeah, funny enough, I couldn't actually find any styrofoam in the house, so I remembered that I had an old TV box outside. So I went outside, promptly fell over the fence while I was trying to grab hold of the TV old TV box. Trying to get a hold of some styrofoam in it. And lucky enough there was some in there. Otherwise, I would have been slightly annoyed if it wasn't. Wait, me. Yeah. Okay. I think we are now cleaned up. Haha. <laughs> so what we're doing now is just go over a base grey, fill in probably some of these other bigger gaps that I don't really want, but you probably won't notice them so much when I fill in with some. Oh, yeah, I think we'll get some in there at some point. So we'll take Mr. Dragon off for the time being, like so. Put him at the back here. Oh, wait a minute. We've still got the legs to do on him yet, which we will be doing at some point. At the moment, I just want to get the basic idea of this done. Try not get lumps of glue on my desk. Right, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> so let's have a look quick look at catch some uh motorcycle warhammer and then we've got so that's from Muse and then uh Muse is basically saying hello to everybody else, he's waving to everybody. Put up a quick video, I forgot the name lol, motorcycle warhammer. Oh the outrider you got wouldn't you? That's it. I think I stuck uh, something else in there, didn't I? I think it was a captain or something. I think I stuck in there for you. Which you didn't have at the time. 
did you get the cola bottles in here? Have you scoffed them yet? I can't remember if I put them in your one. Uh, and then you've got Colin saying hi to Muse. Messy modeling here too. Sand all over. As well, up here in GF of mine has had her op put back six times and her legs are so swollen she cannot walk. Hence, I'm here. Her taxi driver, Professor Colin, so. That's Colin, and then Skelmon Music need to do better camera setup for my stuff. Sound is craptastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Is the fence okay, Ross? Uh, yeah. It can't be any worse under than after when the kids decide to knock a bloody great big hole in it. Just because they, his, well, my eldest one's excuse was he didn't think we needed it anymore for some strange reason. Ain't got a clue why, but never mind. Uh, we've got Graham McCorby just joined us. Welcome, Graham. And Scalmore, one of you saying, Candy, yum, yep. And I think that answers that, and that's probably the reason why they've already gone. <laughs> and you've got Graham McCorby saying, Hi, you to Muse. So then you've got, Hi, Cora Pink. Don't think I know you. Cora Pink is Mrs. M, basically. She's the one that whinges from the back behind me somewhere and causes a like mayhem when she keeps trying to change things around but yeah i think that's gonna look okay so let's see if we can get some dark gray uh, i'm not going to use any of that there oh, see i've got some big pots of gray up here that one's bright this is what I don't know if this is what I used last time. I think it's separated this time, isn't it? I have to wait a minute without me really mixed up. Dark blue, right? That'll do. So it's got some dark blue grey. And then we're going to get a big brush in a minute. It may. Okay, folks, meds are starting to take effect. So, no, no, oh, well, no, no. That's all. Take care, mate. Have fun. And Plastic Monkey's just saying hi to Mac. Oh, cool. It's been a while since I've used this one. <laughs> and he's got clogged. Oh, not, not you. Oh, I'm not going to go down there again. Okay. Yeah, not that one, that one. So the whole idea of this one now is just basically get over. But just not trying to go onto the well put the glue too much and it should Oop, not like right there. I don't mind if I rub that off. <coughs> Just mean all that all up for us there. I think that's all come off. I'm not really worried about how much I put on it because sometimes leaving the texture is good for it. And yeah. Hello then Panzer, welcome to the show. You've just missed me making a mess all over my bench. So uh, now how some fun make an even greater mess with some paint instead. Do we look? So, yeah, it's looking all right, I think. Let's get some more grey paint out in a minute. 
the only problem when you do this sort of thing you're going to use a lot of base color probably will do some more work on it later on but you're getting the general idea of what's going to happen with it I think maybe some dead branches and that going around the bottom I think <coughs> Hold some more in. Be quite honest. Pans are saying hi to Cora, hi to Max, hi to Angry Muse hugs out, and then Skull Skull Muse saying hi to Max. Uh, Max begins saying hi to Panzer. So, what have we all been up to today? Anything good? Have we all been lazing around? I mean, I've been out building gates today with my little lad. Well, the oldest one of the two. He's been giving Dad a hand building gates over in Halifax. And he's been having loads of fun doing that, running around a farm. Evening Chaos, welcome to the messy part of the show, where I'm attempting to make this look something like a reasonably base, reasonable base of it. Not coming too bad I don't think, no. Get off, yeah cool. We are attempting to do something what i haven't got a clue just yet but it's not doing too bad i don't think you're giving it a base coat of gray at the moment and it's coming along but it's gonna cost me a lot of gray and i've got to highlight it all as well which is a bit even more fun. Some of these wire that gets like these ones here, those I'll fill in with the moss and grasses that I'm going to put on. Same as them ones there, I'll probably put some in there, like a burnt twig or something, just to hide it and save it a bit. Yeah, I think I might run out of me. Blue grey in a minute. I'm not even halfway through. I think we're getting there somewhere, slowly. You can see we've got bits of uh, lava, as I call it, running out. And hopefully I'll show you what I'm going to do with them in a little bit. Now that they've gone cold enough so I can touch them. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mexican, I've been painting wood bear, word bearers, legion character, terminator and night lords. Legion character Terminator from Forge World. Oh, nice. Uh, you got Panzer Cannon going. Well done, Nigel. You win a prize. Has he? Oh. <laughs> Panzer Cannon slept a painted model. I bet you thought I was going to say something else. Uh, well, I just thought you basically slept. That's about it because I know you were working last night. And then you got uh, Nigel saying. Hi Cora, and Pants is going to hi to Nigel, Skull Modern Muse, I am on 
Hashtag five of eleven Gretchens. Ooh. Might get them done soon, log. <laughs> and Nigel's saying hi to Panda. Apart from the days you work, isn't that your normal routine? Pretty much I would have thought. And Panda Kenny saying, well done, Nigel, you win a prize. And then F F Colin saying, filming E Models bike build and Valkyrie. Nice. But Valkyrie is the one thing I am probably going to prom get at some point myself. Um, got to give you a, a buzz, Colin, at some point, and have a quick chat about something of the uh, little task you sent me. Well, made me do. You sort of like set out for me to do. Um, having a problem with one of them, but I'll let you know what that is when we have a chat about it. Uh, I spent the day working on my white noise video for tonight stream check the pin post at the top of the link yes um, my wife has started doing white noise sounds basically if you basically into that like I am because it does help me with my tinnitus then go and look at the top of the page you'll see a link pop along to that and that should take you on to a white noise sound link and it starts at midnight tonight and it'll carry on all night so you can get to listen to it and then hopefully like me it should help you fall asleep a bit easier but I must admit it does work because it's helped me a lot. We actually listen to it most nights as it is now. Just to help. And it does. <clears throat> I think most people know what white noise is. If you've got like. Um, suffered from things like tinnitus. It's one of the things that you. Look forward to the most. Because that thing does. Sort of do your head in after a while. You don't want to be on that. Get off and go. Haha. I'll put you on there. Yes, me thinks I might have to get some one of my other greys out sorted. Because I'm going to run out of this one. Uh, we've got. Skelmo. Nigel saying, Panzer, is that so you get it? Get out of it. Okay, I'm probably jumped a bit far here. Have I won a box of nothing? Like when we went on e model stream? Probably. You got Corping Ice. Yep. Yeah. And uh Panther, no Nigel, you have won the gift of giving Sarah Jane a bottle of Malibu. Ooh. Nigel's getting a fine. Not good, lad. <laughs> Not good. Uh, then we've got pounds of in. I have no fines. But as this is my stream, I could impose fines on you, Panda. And I'm sure Sarah or Jane would agree to that. As this is my channel. Let me get that into there. That across there. Okay, so yes, this is coming together slowly. Be great. Oh, yeah. As I said, you'll see what it's going to hopefully look like soon, so you can get a better idea. I'll be using some of the clear colours in a minute. Mm. 
the reason I'm doing trying to get the grey on is so that you can actually see the clear glue that I've put on a bit better. I haven't even shown you where I've got up to on the Heldrake yet, but really. Did bring it up, but not actually showed anybody. Of the bits I've done extra on while we're off, while I was offline. So I'll show you that in a minute. There you go. So it's slowly coming together. He thinks. He's there. Just another way, I mean, I actually stumbled along onto this idea of the hot glue by pure accident when I actually stumbled onto this. Doing it this way because I was doing it on another Heldrake that I did for somebody else. And uh, I just thought, eh, that looks pretty good. So, kept dumping more and more glue on it when it kept cooling down. This one I have rushed it a little bit, but... It shouldn't really make much difference, if anything, it just make it a bit more interesting, I suppose. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have enough. If it was a bonus. And there we go. So, you can see it looks like a polystyrene mess at the moment. <laughs> but honestly, it will change. It will. But there, uh, you can actually see now where the glue's run down over it. And it's got plenty of nice little nooks and crannies for putting bits of moss and other detritus that I'll be using on it so yeah I think we'll leave that to dry for a minute put it to one side and I'll let's see what the uh, uh, Colin Graham Corbett is saying Colin bike looking good yeah it is actually I had a quick squidge at it earlier uh, Panzer going, Nigel was not fined, he won a prize. Doesn't mean we still can't find you though, just to make up for all the people that you have fined. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, Collins is saying, cheers Graham Corbett. Might take off later as I'm eating a chicken Chinese takeaway lol. Nice. Thinking of actually getting the Chinese myself tonight. It depends if I get it. Order it in time before the place shuts. Yeah, never know. So yeah, the idea is just generally make all this where the clear glue is. I'm going to paint over that with using the Tamiya clear colours. And hopefully, if all goes well, it should hopefully look a bit like lava. But no guarantee on that one. But obviously... Uh, yeah, we'll so we'll put that to the side, and we've got the legs still left to do on the hell drink. So let's move to so give me a quick squidge of the coffee. God, I think still stinging a little bit earlier. That'll teach me for messing about. Okay, uh, Mm. Yep, so I'm about to make a bit of room here. You always wait, and then I can show you where the little hell drake has got to so far. <laughs> anyway, another thing just gone cracking before I'm getting good at this, just smashing everything up. Okay, then. Here we go. It's a hell drake so far. We've got both his claws on. 
and we've got the underwings and everything all on there and we finished off all these arms up and made them look better now I did add the flame to the front now that is believe it or not is off uh, my wife's D&D &D dragon I slightly altered it a little bit to make it look as though he's coming out of the flamethrower out of his mouth I think I've got that semi okay so we'll see how it goes I mean it does look good though I think what do you lot think any good I think it's all right so he's now all he's got to do on this one is his back legs so I've got them to do and you know on this little figure I decided to put a little bit of white rod in there, paint it lying with a green clear, and then add little lead voucher pieces to make it look like bullets. Basic, but as far as I can tell, it works all right. So he will be standing somewhere about here, I think. So we'll put him on the base about there. You can just see him there, I think. There we go. So you can see him a little bit. There we go. So. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, behave. Uh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, uh, might take off later with eating. Yep, and then you got that dragon looks familiar. I think I dated her in the past. Well, we can't help who you date, mate. That is one bad decision. Was you drunk at the time, though? And then you've got Graham McCorbett saying, Brilliant paint job, mate. Oh, I'm glad you like the dragon. So, I'm taking him off there for the time being. You can sit there. These little glue sticks we've got there, out of the way. So these are the parts left over to go on the legs. And that's these little bits here. So once you've got to detail all these up, uh, that one's fairly straightforward, just putting little bits of highlight on them. Let's move you back up there to dry up and down the weight. So we want some aluminium next and then we've got Max again saying paint job looking real good oh, thank you very much there it is <laughs> so yeah, we've got, you've got two legs to go on and uh, hopefully they shouldn't take too long and then there's a wee little bit of rushing areas. We just do these because we're going to use the clear colours again from Tamiya to sort of like highlight the pipe work a bit on these when I've got them all sorted. That one done. I did leave this one on here. I was just being impatient earlier on and wanting to see what it looked like in the actual leg. I couldn't remember fully. And it is looking. Oops. Okay. Just get you out of the way. And then I should be able to finish painting that fine, like so. So, as you know, the next build, once this one's completed, will be a tank. Thanks to good old Panzer. 
And you got uh, Nigel saying, seriously though, the paint job is looking great. Yeah, thank you. I mean, as we all say, we're our own worst critics. <laughs> I might I sound as though I'm not grateful, but I am for all your comments about how it looks. Um, but it's the thing where you in yourself you're saying, oh well, yeah, but could I have done this better? Could I have done that better? Probably, I could have done. But it's the that's me beating myself up saying oh, I should have done better. And I'm pretty good at doing that. <laughs> um yeah. Also I said um We've got my wife doing a night thing. I can't remember what the name of her channel is now. That's it. Natural Relaxing Sounds. So please go along and give it a like and subscribe because help build her up because she's just started it up, not just recently. And uh, all help to get her known out there would be helpful. Um with mine i am in the proceeds of setting up a couple of other things that will come up onto the channel very soon one it'll be setting up a buy me a coffee because a good friend of mine said to do it so i will do and i'll also be setting up a patron at some point now i'm not going to be asking you to go ahead and support me but it'd be nice if you did because it helps pay for this hobby in a way especially when I go through some rough times but yeah it'll be there and I'll be grateful for any help that I do get and you will get mentioned so here we are with the leg pieces which I've actually based already in lead belcher I'll just take that off of there we don't want that on there like so and we can clear that bit off and the weight and hopefully do that make it easier to work on these ones <coughs> now hopefully we should be able to get these blades and everything done like so So as you all know, I've been doing a few Space Marine, Chaos Space Marines. It's all part of the half box set of the Shadow Spear, is what I'm doing. Now, this set, this set I should say, get me words out right tonight, Ross, usually helps. Is what a good friend of mine, Dan Harrison, sent me many, many moons ago. And I'm now slowly getting around to finishing it. I think I've got about another four figures to do from the box set. And then that'll be all of them done. Now, at the moment, I'm just taking a little bit of a break from them because they can get, well, doing any figure can get monotonous. So I've decided to do something completely different, which is actually not Warhammer for once. Anybody recognise what it is? That's the wings from to it. So see if you can recognise it from that and tell me. Ooh. That's it. Uh, Nigel's right, it is a hurricane. 
It's a <coughs> night fighter variant, which I haven't done before. And it's also <coughs> the Armour Hobby Kit, 172nd scale. I do hope they're actually going to start bringing some of them out in 48 scale because they actually have started releasing 48 scale models at last. Very much needed, especially for the standard of what they're making. And I mean, the detail on those kits, stunning. Well past the standard of um, Tamiya for detail. I must admit, they are very much definitely past the Tamiya standard. They leave them for dust. And the price of those kits are about half of what it would cost to buy a Tamiya kit. If not a quarter of it. Yes, it's a 170 second scale kit at the moment. But as I said, I think they are going to be releasing the 48 scale versions of it. I've got about another <coughs> three or four um, armor hobby kits of the Hurricane. Because so I do like the little Hurricane. I think he's actually been sort of left behind a little bit. Because they're his younger brother, the Spitfire, took all the glory because it was a bit more zoom zoom. There we go. Hopefully I will have the uh, my oldest lads Rhino all painted up, well primed up I should say, ready for the next show that I get a chance to work on it. It depends on if I get this one finished fairly soon because I want to try it, oh, got it, got my fingers. I want to try and do the base and everything, go through what I do on it uh, on a live stream because I think it's uh, each person has their own way of actually showing how they do things. As kind of just said, the Hurricane is a much forgotten plane, sadly, it is. But I think, if I remember rightly, it has more recorded kills than the Spitfire. Especially during the Battle of Britain, I think it was. And that was uh, mostly due to, I think it's 303 Squadron, which is the Polish one. Because they were all nutters. They just didn't care. They all just wanted revenge, so therefore they just flew at them and killed them. And if they died in the process of doing it themselves, that's what happened. I think there was um, a film called Hurricane released about the Polish squadron. And that was a very good film. I thought it was very realistic the way they showed how the Polish squadron was treated in the end. Which sadly wasn't one of um, Britain's greatest times. The way they treated them at the end of the war. Which is a shame, really. Ooh, it's a bit stodgy. Okay, so I want these bits to go into gold. Well, you can see we're going to get most of this semi sorted out. I think it seems to be winning slowly. Hard to win out this one in a bit. Across there and there. Yeah. 
It's only problem I keep doing small stuff like this. I keep holding my breath. So if you hear bigger, <laughs> that's because I'm trying to breathe out after holding my breath when doing silly small bits. Don't know why I bother doing it. Like next, I'll be sticking my tongue out. You ever get e? And I'll get told off by the missus. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got these are part of the extracts that go together there and there and it holds the ball joint which is there Oh yeah, forgot to turn the big light on the top <laughs> Never mind Reason why my stream tonight will only be going to um half past twelve tonight, half past eleven. Sorry, <laughs> Mrs. M just almost had a heart attack in the back here. You can't do that. I'm starting at twelve. Have to off. She's threatening to switch me off. Some uh, me thinks she's getting too big for her boots. I might send her to Panzer and let him deal with her. I'm sure you will enjoy that. Okay, then we've just got to copy on this one. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Like I'm hoping at some point to try and find some pictures of my previous hell joke I did that a friend of mine half inched off me after she'd seen it and she loved it that much. Very similar colours but it was in a Drishel violet in the finish. So it just looked uh, more purpley or pinky purple in the end did enjoy building that one but that one took me even longer than this one to build and that was mainly because I, I was building it for fun at first and then when my friend said that she wanted it you end up taking more time on it and then it takes you like you, know, you think you've done and then you look at you just go around and scrutinize your own work I think, no, nope, need to do that bit there. Then you spot another bit, then another bit, and then another bit. You think, oh, I can just improve that here and improve that there. But basically, once you've completed, once you think you've built the model, stop. <laughs> because it got to the point where I was never happy with it. I was always trying to find fault with something, saying, oh, I can get a crisper line here, uh, make it a bit dirtier there. It's just one of those things that I do. Never happy with my own work. I mean, I'm grateful when people turn around and say, yeah, you've done a nice job in that lot. Very grateful about that. But I'm always looking about what I've done wrong. And that's the only thing I can say. I always look for the negative part of it. When I shouldn't. And that's my phone dinging away then. Because I forgot to put something on silent. Like I had with everything else. Get you a bit done. So I do hope that you've all enjoyed the build so far. It seems to have gone down well with some people because I now have a 78 um subscribers so thank you very much and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed or liked my pay post please do so if not put a thumbs down i don't mind as long as you can just like leaving me a message of saying where i could have done something better and i'll quite happily try and 
work something into it where I can actually make it a bit better for you for the experience the next time you come and watch so yeah please like and subscribe the page I'd be most appreciated because what I really want to do is get up to a hundred so I can then get a URL for scale model ninja which would be absolutely fantastic if we could do that instead of having lots of silly numbers in the letters uh scale model news saying we all do it ross yeah that's the uh criticizing our own builds yeah i mean to be honest with you, i don't know why i do it i mean the missus often told me off there Shrell shouting and screaming at myself for some silly thing or other. But there we go. Yeah, well, we normally call them uh, rivet counters, don't we, Max? <laughs> because they know all. And everything so they cannot be criticized like I mentioned it to somebody else once um, when I was at a show and I took in my hybrid tank it's about the only way you can call it there and uh, this gentleman was walking past the show table and decided he didn't like it from straight away as soon as he walked into the room and saw it and I entered it into the competition for the sci-fi section and what it was is I'd converted a Russian T-62 into a Warhammer build just for the, the proverbial and giggles sort of thing and it was also part of my local club's build so we do one each year come up to christmas it should be starting probably again next couple of months or well, next month i think it is they start doing it again so then we find out what it is i mean the year before it was mini I didn't take part in that one because I had too much else on plus the fact that I don't do civilian vehicles I think out of all my modelling model builds so far I've only ever built one civilian vehicle and that's the London bus which is a rite of passage I think for most people Getting there. Right. Now, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it, but it's civilian stuff is not me. I do prefer my military vehicles and tanks, planes, and I do prefer me Warhammer. Uh, Scum would amuse saying, Yep, to. Nigel above. Nigel's trying to go for a lot of brownie points, I think, today. There we go, that's that one. Oh, missed that bit there. That's the little claws done. So, we should soon be able to stick these together red and blue hopefully like the majority of it anyway like these bits when I've done this good evening JC Bricks and Builds another one who earns his own little 
YouTube channel. He's um, builds um, Lego and ones that aren't Lego. That's his way of saying it. So there you go. Um, we've also had Sprue and Glue in. He also runs his little channel that streams. I think it's Mondays. Same as JC Bricks and Builds. I think it's Monday or is it Tuesday you stream on James? Yeah. And we've got uh, everybody starting to say hi to James. Uh, wait up, there it is. Okay. I think we're actually winning now. In a way, I'll be sad to finish this one. So I've actually really enjoyed building the second one. I might just have to get a third one. <clears throat> but yeah oh ow <sighs> yeah normally tuesdays and saturdays at 1 p.m that's right keep forgetting about that thinking of doing a stream on thursdays has got alicia's family coming this weekend so you what just a one-off thursday build is that what you're saying james Another same, we've got sprue and glue somewhere. I think he was in chat. And it's gone past 11, so he'll probably be sat watching his TV downstairs now. With Arky. Now we sat there in their slippers. Hmm? Yep, we've got. Um, the good ladies just remember we've got Colin from Festa 67's workshop. He's does his program on a Sunday and uh last Sunday I had the pleasure of doing a stream with him to help another good YouTuber model making guru Mr Fox and hopefully Mama Fox is all doing well. So, yeah, well, I basically did <coughs> a show live on his stream for him. And I did that with Mr. Fester, Colin himself, and we had quite a good laugh, I think. Well, I didn't break anything anyway. And I think his channel's still intact. And Jay is saying, yeah, it should be a one-off, mate. Oh, great. Guys, I'm off. Got the doctors tomorrow. Here's hope. It's not what I'm thinking it is. Well, I do hope so too, Graham. Whatever it is, mate. Well, keep your fingers crossed and I'm sure you'll be fine. Keep happy thoughts. And all the best, mate. You take care. And you know we're always here if you ever need to vent and chat. You're more than welcome to drop us a line. You excuse me. That's yes, why I did actually the um, one of my longest ever streams with somebody, and that well, first time I've actually ever streamed with another person or another co host. Which was a very interesting sort of experience. And it was also my longest ever stream, which was three hours I've ever done. Been close to, well, I've done two hour streams, but I've never done a three hour before. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. Once the old nerves had 
settled now. So I do seem to struggle a bit when it comes to <coughs> doing live streams. I always have done from the start. Yeah, yeah. But after talking to a few of the other <coughs> lads that do it, the live streams, managed to sort of think to myself, why are you being so daft? I think it's mainly because I don't generally cope well with speaking to the just as well it's on for Sunday. Ah, oh, great. So, back doing it again on Sunday. Brilliant. Don't mind at all, mate. As I said before, I did really enjoy it. Um, as I said, I don't think I broke anything. Well, not that I know of anyway. <laughs> Hopefully we should have the legs near enough to give it tonight. And we can get these bits to dry enough quick enough. Then we should be able to stick the legs together. But I don't think we're going to have time tonight to finish it off because it's now coming up to 20 past. And uh, I'll be having Mrs. M screen in the ear in a minute. You've got to be off soon. Or she'll just switch the plug off. One of the two. Ah, good. Uh, I'm glad you're okay, Cole. Because I did give you a message on Monday, but you didn't get back to us because I was a bit worried at the point. Because we were looking forward to your stream on Monday. But we, I just sort of like thought it might have. Uh, you had a good reason, and that's a uh, a good enough one. I think needing a day off. Uh, I don't blame you, mate. We all need it occasionally. Okay. Oh, I missed a bit there. It's always the same when you be a rinse your brush off, you suddenly notice that you've missed a bit. I wonder if the surf is going to make me a cup of coffee at the same time. Probably not. Mind you, I've got half a cup there. It's probably some stone cold now. Yep, it's gone cold. Can I have one, please? Ah, she's a good one. As I say, she's a keeper. It's not as cold. Just make me a coffee, please. And do as you're told. So I'll put you across my knee later. But then you can just probably take. We have enjoy that too much. Scale model muse. Uh, oh, that's not good, mate. Be glad you're all okay, buddy. Hugs to you, mate. And that's from JC Ricks. James to Colin. And we've got. Mew saying, okay, time to forage, hungry and no clue what to make, later all. Okay, Mew, take care, love, and uh, hopefully catch you in the hangout, which is another thing of uh, Colin and Dad's creations. Great place to go, and all you have to do is go over to Festa 67's workshop, or Scaly Models, click on join or become a patron member to either one of their channels and you too can join in the hangout it's a great place to go 
it's a run 24 7 so if you ever need to chill out and just chat to other modelers as there's usually somebody in at most times of the day then go ahead and join them Ooh. as i said it's a great place to go I've got glue all over me mouse meat. Leave it to glue. Okay. Well, I think we might actually have to leave it there now. Because we're getting close to it. It's another only another nine minutes before I'm come off anyway. And before I start painting anything else. Um I'll finish these legs off while I'm off stream and then because I'll be doing one more stream I think it is to do the base and get that sorted out probably sort of level off some of these chunky bricks a bit and once it gets highlighted so it won't look too bad as it's not really earthing but it will look like crystallized rock hopefully when I've finished so we'll see but it's looking all right so far so, we put him on there. Yeah, we'll see what he's going to look like in a minute. There we go. That goes onto there. Where's his little buddy? Here he is. And there we go. So, he's like that. And he's got his little buddy underneath. Flying his gun to help him out. So, that's how that's going to look, roughly. Stick him there. And uh, yeah, so we'll pop back up to Facey Camp. Let's get this glue gun out before I make any more mess with it. Get it out of the way. Just stick it over there. Oh, not so noisy as usual. Why are you still sort of stuff? Yes, he is. Okay, we'll switch back to Face Camp. Well, there we go. We have got. A little bit further on sorry about all the jumping around in that lot i do apologize it's just um rushing around outside trying to find a bit of um styrene that i wanted it was fun and games hurt my foot fell over a fence dropped a load of stuff yeah that sounds like a typical stream for me but at least i didn't knock any paint over this time that's always a bonus so yeah okay so it's uh jc bricks and builders saying take care muse and then it's saying looking good mate well thank you very much it will hopefully endeavor to be looking like something half decent yeah. oh yeah uh, thank you thanks to mrs m bringing me a nice cup of coffee but yeah so hopefully as i said the both legs will be on and then we should be able to do what i want to do with the lava effect with that coming down the sides and everything so once that's done you'll be able to see me doing that next week and we'll sort of like put the stuff i want to do on the base and once we've built that all up together we should be able to finally finish the hell drake so maybe one more week and then that should be done so all i'll say to you all is take care have fun and enjoy building models remember it's just a hobby don't let the rear counters get you down bye bye for now <laughs>